What's going on, E Nation fans? This is Ian Perez 48 here. Welcome back to another episode of Racing Topics with Ian Perez. This is the 35th episode, and yes, it has surely been a while since I did an actual motorsports related video and an episode of Racing Topics with Ian Perez. It surely has been a while. I know I've been slacking off with some topics that were worth talking about, but eh, I don't know what happened. Probably lazy. But. I just want to talk about the recent uh, topic that's been going on two, since two days ago. It's about NASCAR considering to do what the All-Star Race has been done. What they did to the All-Star Race was moving the numbers where the rear tires are. And as usual, this been controversy about it from the fan base no shocker there but understandable reason at the same time so i'm just gonna give my personal take on it that is the whole purpose of this video i don't think this will be a rant video i don't know if it's a positive video or a negative video but let's see how it goes from here i just want to give my opinion and just call it a day with that being said let's begin so what is my personal opinion about the number placements for the Gen 7 2022? My personal opinion is that not only that I'm not really a big fan of it, but it's really like a pointless idea. Everybody knows for like a decade and a half that NASCAR always fixes something that is not broken. They never learn the, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. But you know how NASCAR is. They always touch something and break it or just or make things worse. And um, it's just so pretty useless. It's a useless idea and also terrible marketing. The personally, there are bigger issues in NASCAR that needs to be fixed to make the sport better. What does the number? What is the problem with the number placement? What's wrong with it? After for like what seventy three years, I think, or almost seventy three years, it's been the way it is, and now NASCAR has a problem with it. What's the issue? Huh? I don't see a. I don't see a problem. I, I don't see the purpose of moving numbers. How is that going to help with marketing, advertising, something like that? I'm not the biggest brainer when it comes to that kind of stuff. I try my best to learn every day about it, so don't judge me. Like, over the years, this is just my personal opinion. It may sound dumb to some, but like when it comes to commercials, like... Not only there's not a lot of NASCAR related commercials from sponsors, but it's been more corporate than creative. I know it's a business and all that stuff, but what about like what's wrong with creativity of commercials? You want people to buy our products, make a creative commercial or something like that. So, I know that may sound dumb, but like, I just feel like things, has went, things have went more corporate than creative. Like, I know this ain't the 90s and all that, that, that passes by, but like, whatever worked back then, it worked. They didn't need to remove, they didn't need to move some numbers and all that. So, yeah. Again, I know I'm repeating myself. There are bigger things. There are bigger issues in the sport that needs fixing than some BS number placements. I forgot to mention this, but NASCAR should worry about fixing the biggest problems. And then worry about the smallest stuff later on. I know, like, there's some people who support the idea. I try to understand their perspective. It's a motorsports thing, like other motorsports do it. You know, like IndyCar, they change their numbers every year. 
V8 supercars, they have the numbers on some of the windows and their sponsors on the doors and all that. What if I told you guys that there were some cars back then that they had like sponsors on the doors with the numbers? So I just want to give a few examples of what I said about number placements and sponsors being on the doors because it happened before. So for example, I'm going to use Jack Ingram. At the time, Jack Ingram was one of the best Bush Series drivers at his time alongside with Sam Ard. He was, uh, Ingram was iconic for driving the number 11. I don't know what color that is. I'm stupid. Reddish, brownish, number 11 kind in the Bush Series. But he's had various sponsors. However, his sponsors logo were on his door with the number. So... Right here, Southland Fire Equipment, J.W. Hunt Produce. I forgot to have the Oak Stone picture alongside, so forgive me. His Skull Bandit car, Skull Bandit Green, and Skull Bandit Green. So this might be random for some of you guys of me showing this, but I want to show you this because it happened before, but it was just different. It wasn't forced. Nowadays, if it, if NASCAR does say yes to it, it's just going to be forced. Personally, I don't think like it's going to help. It's like there was never a problem with having numbers um, at the door and sponsors where I don't know where the tires are, like the right, the rear tires are at, but not with the number. Like, I don't know what's wrong with the original. Um, and the problem is, like, could you imagine if, if NASCAR gave the okay about this? Like, you know, like, hey, there, who's your favorite driver? Oh, my favorite driver is Chase Elliott. Is he the one that drives the Napa Auto Parts car? No, he's the one that drives the 9. But yes, his sponsor is Napa. Where's the number? And he drives an Napa car. Like, something like that. I was thinking about that a couple months ago. Like, after the All-Star race. I just don't think it's good marketing. I don't think it's good advertising. Like, if you want good advertisements, um, just make creative commercials again like before, I guess. I'm not sure. Again, I'm not, I'm not the brightest when it comes to that kind of stuff. So, an extra help would be appreciative. So, my personal opinion about the consideration of number placements being moved on the Gen 7. Personally, it's just pretty pointless. It's a stupid idea. I don't think it's going to work. It's just really, really pointless. Like, having the numbers on a door in NASCAR, like, I don't know what's the problem with it. I know, like, the, the East and West has done it. And honestly, like, what was the point of it? So, personally, I think NASCAR should worry about the bigger issues of the sport, but you know how NASCAR is. They always change something that's not broken. Like, I'm not hating on it. I don't like the idea, but I'm not really hating on it. Like, I don't like it. I'm not hating on it. I'm bashing on it. Like, it's, it's not it. This ain't it. Like, instead of worrying about some stupid numbers being moved Worry about the problem with the sport, uh, how to fix it, and how to make NASCAR great again. Like seriously, if you're, if you're going to keep making changes that was never a problem, it's going to hurt the sport more. I don't know why they would like consider this idea. I just don't get it. I mean, it's NASCAR, so do you expect anything different from the NASCAR Football League? I just find it pointless. That's literally my opinion. 
if this is a bad video with a bad ter with the terrible explanation again i'm not trying to be some expert just a race fan talking about this topic i just want just wanted to come out of my chest about it so yeah so that's gonna do for today's video thank you guys so much for watching this video comment like and subscribe for more Follow my social accounts, Instagram, I'm here, press 25, and Ian, press 48, underscore YT. Like my Facebook page, enasca 48 enation Films. Don't forget to follow me on Reddit. Like, all the links and descriptions are below. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more content. Thank you, guys. First of all, Ian Nation, this is Ian Perez 48, signing off. And NASCAR is just being NASCAR again with a pointless decision. Goodbye, everybody.